Now we now have understood what a quadratic equation is. It's an expression involving a second degree term equated to zero. So for example, if I write three x minus five x square plus two and then equated to zero, I get a quadratic equation. But what is standard form of a quadratic equation? I want you to focus on the word standard here. Let's let's hear more about what standard could be. Now, whenever we think about the word standard, we have encountered this word many other times. Say when we are talking about standard time zones or standard language or maybe standard unit, which is probably kilometers or meters or kilograms. Also standard deck of cards. So when we think about a standard deck of cards, what do we notice? Why do we call it a standard deck of cards? We know that the standard deck of cards includes 52 cards. Then there are four suits and 13 specific cards per suit, isn't it? So wherever you go in the world and if you go to any shop and ask for a standard deck of cards, you're always going to get the same product. So basically standard is nothing but some norm across the world which is accepted or some benchmark or certain rules by which we communicate with each other and standardizing something helps us communicate things faster and better. So let's now understand what is the standard form of the quadratic equation. The standard form of the quadratic equation could be written like this. If I had to write the same equation now, so I would write minus five X square first, then plus three X plus two is equal to zero. What do you notice? I have put the term involving the second degree of the variable at the first place. Then I have written three X, which involved the first degree of the variable and then the constant term. So if we notice the degree of the variable, the degree is written in the descending order. Let's take another example to reinforce this idea. So if I have three equations written like this, let's identify which one is written in the standard form. If I'm looking at the first equation, I see that the degree of the first term, which is a constant is zero. The degree of the second term is two. And again, the degree of the last term is also zero. For a quadratic equation to be in the standard form, I would need the degrees to be written in the descending order. And that's why the first equation is not written in the standard form. Okay. What about the second one? I see two M is equal to six M square minus five. Again, it's important for quadratic equation to be written in a way that one of the sides is zero and the algebraic expression on one of the sides is written in the descending order of the degree, which is not followed here. Even if we had written six M square minus five is equal to two M, this still wouldn't be in the standard form since one of the sides is not zero. Now, what about the last one? We see seven P square minus two P plus 11 equal to zero. Right hand side is zero. And on the left hand side where we have the expression, the quadratic expression, the degree of the first term is two, second term is one, and then we have the degree zero. And that's why this equation is in the standard form. So in general, standard form of a quadratic equation is given as this a x square plus b x plus c equal to zero, where a is not equal to zero because if a gets to zero, this won't be a quadratic equation. Additionally, we want a, b and c to be real numbers, which is usually the case. Also, we want one of the sides to be equal to zero. So now whenever your friend from far, far away asks you to write an equation, a quadratic equation in the standard form, you know what to really write. And then remember writing a quadratic equation in the standard form, then just simply allows us to use the coefficients a, b and c in different formulas without having to worry where a is or where b is or where c is. It's also a norm that the coefficient of x square is the small a coefficient of this x is b and the constant is c. Writing any quadratic equation in the standard form allows us to write the formula for the roots of the quadratic equation. All that we need to do is that whenever we write any equation in the standard form like this is to find the values of a, b and c. So in this case, this would be a minus five would be b and eight would be c. Also, don't worry if either of b or c is zero. 
if say one of b or c is zero you can still write something in the standard form without having to write the term that is zero so for example if say b was zero in this case our equation would still be in standard form if i had written 2x square plus 8 equal to 0 this would just be c because the coefficient of x is 0 you can practice writing more quadratic equations in standard form and also keeping b or c equal to 0 and then rewriting them to practice more see you soon